the worst day for any skier or snowboarder is new boot day. Today, I'm rocking a new pair of boots. We're gonna break them in. I'm not too worried. These are the same boots I've been riding every single year for the last four years. Does that make sense? Anyways, new boot goofing today. We're at Breganer. Just gonna be a good day. Enough talking about to start snowboarding. We're gonna talk about boots today. It's cold today. Whew. New boots in the park always feels so weird. Oh my God. <sighs> New boots in the park. Oh, it's always like the worst feeling ever, especially rails. So that's why I was like, hey, we're gonna go to Breck, break in the new boots. Cause I know they don't really have much of a park here. So I wouldn't be so tempted for park riding while I break in these boots. They're feeling good on the run. Not a lot of sign hits though. We gotta find the right run here at Breck. Let's do a rocky run. We got some trees, baby. My question for the trees would be, is toilet bowl closed? So we got this pal line in front of us. Apparently the Ace Pro in post-production, you can remove the selfie stick. I'm testing it. I filmed in the wrong video mode to make the selfie stick disappear. You totally can make it disappear. My fault. So if there is a pull in the video, my test didn't go very well. If it's gone, that's rad. Let's get some pal. This guy's snaking my line. <laughs> Dude. Yes. This is this is rad. This is the first pal of the season. I'm so hyped. Coverage in Breck is actually pretty rad. That was so nice and so oh, needed. Oh. Oh. oh, never mind. That was brutal. <laughs> So I got a little bit of disco foot. That's when you're finding moves around. It's because of the Burton channel system. Like I love the Burton custom so much, but I hate this channel. But if you want my snowboard, the one that I, I think is the best snowboard ever made, that's linked in the description. That one, it's it rips. I'm gonna tighten that. We're gonna go get more pal. Seriously, Breck, that's the best you can do. <laughs> ah, we're good to go. All right, the new boots feel incredible while I'm doing a run. You know, I got a lot of quick response. They're super stiff right now, which is all things that I like when I'm making turns. Not really when I'm in the park. I like to not be so responsive in the terrain park. But I'm not gonna lie, my feet are a little cold, they're a little numb. Just that breaking in process. What I recommend to a lot of people, if you snowboard like 30 plus days a season, you know, you get out very consistently. I highly recommend going make maybe a size down in your snowboard boot because you're gonna pack them out. They're gonna eventually get old and you don't want your foot swimming in a boot that used to fit the more you rode it now if you only ride two or three times a season maybe get the boot that's like your exact size because i ride like 160 days a season i usually go like two sizes down like a size and a half i, I go into female size boots because i got little, one little baby feet but two to go enough sizes down that when it packs out eventually like my foot doesn't slide ever, which is so nice for park riding, everything like that, knowing my foot is fully secured in my boot. There's a little bit of tips. The overall biggest tip when you're buying boots is buy a boot that like works for you. Fits your feet, doesn't hurt your feet. Like it's the most important piece of gear you can get. All right, let's go get more pal. I'm so excited. This hits huge right here. And this section scares me every time I ever ride into it. Oh. <sighs> 
<laughs> yeah. Be a liar if I said it wasn't a little sketchy in the trees with the new boots. Once again, if you're on those new boots, you don't have that quick snappy reaction where it's like all a little off. Might be best to stay on the run. Dude, that's that's it though. Yep. We got more runs in there today. Oh yeah. Whew. It's funny, a lot of times people will ask us like, where were you, like, what were you doing? Like, dude, we're riding right next to you guys. We're just riding in the right spot. <clears throat> All right. If you guys are enjoying this video though, consider snagging an Evolution sticker. We have so many colors and styles and versions of it. Like Nikos right here has snagged one. He tagged me on Instagram. If you do that, I'll give you guys gear and sticker shout outs like I just did. But snagging the merch guys, it supports the dream. We have a bunch of hoodies, t-shirts, long sleeves, and bunch of other rad merch so thank you so much for supporting the dream that's kind of a little dull section so we'll talk about merch there and go get more pow it's puking right now too that was a squirrely bird dude it's puking here at Brack. refills all day Blue bindings on a pow day, they're the best. Oh my God. Dude, people are the worst in this section. Still good in there. <laughs> that was neat. <laughs> oh, it's so sketchy with big, with new boots. Oh, I thought I was gonna catch an edge. Get cut off by a skier. <laughs> yeah. Cody almost got, got taken out. Guys, I almost forgot. If you want to ride powder like that with me, come to Winter Camp. This is a local's guide to riding in Colorado. So I can't technically coach you guys in Colorado because I don't work for these ski resorts, but I can take you on some rad experiences here in Colorado. And this year we're doing a powder cat at Monarch and two days at Crested Butte, which is an incredible mountain. We're going to be searching for powder. It's never a guarantee, but I'm pretty sure like just like today, most people don't think there's powder today, but we're finding it. We, we got the nose, but it's an all-inclusive adult snowboard camp three epic days of riding the powder cat is more than likely going to blow your mind so if you want to make a trip to Colorado or if you're already in Colorado and if you're a skier come rip with us we don't care if you're ski or snowboard it's all-inclusive ride with like-minded individuals rad time that means we're feeding you breakfast lunch dinner we're gonna have an incredible house we've got the travel covered if you're flying into denver all kinds of rad stuff check it out the links right here come to my winter camp last year was a blast it was so successful I'm ready to do it again New boots. Look at the blue skies. I'm getting wet and cold, so we're gonna do one more chipmunk. Here we go. The sky is clearing up. It's looking good now. Yeah, that, that one hurt my soul. All right, chipmunk. Here we go. Oh. Hey, what was that? I got wrecked by a snowball. Dude, we tracked this out good. Well, that was definitely. <laughs> it is a good chipmunk run. We we've ridden all the good in here for the most part. Small sections of untouched. 
once again, if you want to learn how to find pal like we found all day today, on a normal day at a ski resort, you got to come to winter camp. I've been doing this for 15 years. I'm pretty good at finding what's good for the day and making videos and just riding it and enjoying it. And let's be real, there's not enough camps for adults. You guys need breaks and, and stuff too, you know? <laughs> so there's technically two tree branches over here. Yesterday was Uberfest, so maybe that's why we got so much power today. But with that, Team Elkhouse, thank you so much for shredding with me today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another video. It's Daily on the channel. We do stuff like this. Daily!